Go ahead. Dave, ahead of the game, you mentioned kind of one of the keys was, you know, going deep for, Ken, for excuse me, for Clayton Kershaw. With him executing that, with the offense coming up big there in the eighth, did he just feel like things were finally kind of coming together? Yeah, tonight, today was a good one. Uh, it was nice to win a big league ball game, and it started with Clayton. Clayton was good in lockstep all, all day with uh, Austin. I thought the fingers, the receiving, great. Um, got a big uh, caught stealing in, in that first inning. That was huge. Um, and then after that, Clayton took it from there, uh, had a lead, went out and did his job. And then for us to tack on late, uh, got some big hits, the Beatty hit, um, you know, the CT hit, then the Beatty hit, and then obviously Mookie with the base hit to, to get a, to play a couple more. So good to see us tack on. Um, happy to get Clevenger in there. Uh, we're still kind of seeing how he feels. It was on the tricep. So uh, I think that's a good thing relative to potentially being the elbow. So we'll know more tomorrow. But yeah, well-played baseball game. And how do you look to then carry momentum from today, really just into this road trip? Yeah, I mean, it's just nice to win a baseball game, have a happy flight. We got Trevor going tomorrow. Um, key guys in the pen, guys, the pen's in a good spot going into Milwaukee. Uh, good club, uh, four game series there. So um, I, I like where we're at. Uh, certainly feel a lot better than I did uh, the last couple of days. Thanks, Dave. Next question is from J.P. Hornstra. Go ahead. Yeah, Dave, um, what were you seeing in the at-bats against Sonny earlier today? Clayton was very complimentary of his stuff. And then what kind of were you seeing later that allowed you guys to really break it out there in the eighth inning? You know, I, I just – I enjoy watching him pitch. I, I like him the way he competes. Uh, it, it's a fastball, um, glove side a lot, uh, to the right-hand hitter. The comebacker, the the inside, the heater, the hit ball to the left hand hitter late. There's a curveball in there. It's a really good curveball. Um, strike thrower, good competitor. So uh, you know the JT Homer was huge, and um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I just thought that uh, Sonny pitched like a ball game it was good to you know tack on some runs late. And then it what was the significance of being able to avoid Kenley in a situation like this? I mean, is that meaningful that you're able to save him an extra day? It is. It is. I, I think that just, you know, anytime you, you pitch a guy, a pitcher, um, the next day, there's always a cost. And so to get him up in that ninth inning, but to not have to fire some more bullets in the game, I thought was beneficial to get him, keep him on line for tomorrow. Thank you. Yep. Next question is from Juan Toribio. Go ahead. Hey Dave, you mentioned that happy flight. Can, can a happy flight kind of help some guys forget about well, what you know what necessarily wasn't the, the best homestand for you guys? Yeah, yeah, it, it can. And I think even today, coming into today, the music was blaring, guys were having fun, and uh, took it into the game. Uh, so you, in this game, you have to have a short memory. So yeah, I mean, certainly the homestand wasn't ideal, um, not even close to ideal, but the recent memory, uh, we won a baseball game. And with, with Clayton, is this kind of what separates a good pitcher to a great pitcher, kind of when you guys need a win for him to go out there and toss seven shutout? Yeah, well, he, he, he's been a great pitcher for a long time, and he's a stopper. He's been the ace. And so, you know, you knew that he knew how much we needed this game. So uh, to Kirsten's question earlier, for him to go deep in the game, to put up zeros, throw a shutout was, was big for our club. Thank you, Dave. Next question is from Brooks Smith. Go ahead, Brooks. Hey, Dave. Um, I'm wondering with the uh, at-bat quality that Matt Beatty's putting up lately, um, combined with, I guess, just the state of your roster health, do you foresee him getting some more starts, more opportunities moving forward? I do. I do. Um, we got a big run of uh, right-handers um, the next seven days. And um, actually, we might have Lauer tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, I, I do see him – uh, getting more bats. So it, it, hopefully this uh, next series against the Brewers, we'll get him a start uh, somewhere in the outfield. And then with AJ, it kind of looks like he's catching fire a little bit. Is that somebody that you're feeling more and more comfortable putting in uh, against maybe right-handed pitching? Yeah. I mean, a AJ throughout his career, he he's handled right-handed pitching and um, off to a slow start early, but 
you know, these last few games, I think he's taken much better at bats and to find some outfield grass has been good for him. Um, but yeah, certainly obviously with Cody down to have a guy that you trust in there to play left field, to be in the middle of the lineup against left, right, uh, makes us better. And last one for me, Doc, uh, is Clevenger okay after taking that ball off his arm? I, I hope so. Um, I thought he threw the baseball really well, a lot of conviction. I love the fastball. The slider was good today. Um, Stevenson hit that ball off his uh, tricep. So I'm, I'm just happy it wasn't his elbow. And <clears throat> there's a lot of adrenaline, so he wanted to keep going, uh, obviously. But we'll see how it settles tomorrow, see how he feels. I'm sure there's going to be some soreness, and we can evaluate then. Next question is from Rowan Kavner. Go ahead. Dave, you guys have had some, you know, go-ahead hits in, in recent games, but did you feel like you were kind of due for, for an inning like that? And how much have you kind of been waiting for, for just sort of that breakout like that? I, I think that's fair. Due, yeah. We were due for an inning to uh, tack on, get some jug runs. And um, so, yeah, we were due. But I was just happy because I think that, uh, you know, to Brooks' question earlier is Matt had a good at-bat. That was a big at-bat. Uh, CT's at-bat, the triple with a guy on first base and then Mookie to kind of blow it open. Th those games are nice. Yeah, we, we asked you about kind of the pinch hit struggles you know, early in the year. And what, what can that do for you if, if Beatty is locked in the way that, that he is right now? It's it just the quality of it bad. I, I think that I think the results are always good, but I think we reset Matty and when we went to set him to the alt site. And now, you know, I see a confidence in there in the batter's box and, and he's getting some some hits, some success. So that just makes our, our the depth of our lineup when he's not in there that much better. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. Got time for one more. Go ahead, Gigi. Dave, with all the frustration of this past week and, and even the tension of today's game, was that eighth inning almost a little bit of a cathartic? It was. It was. There was a little uh, exhale, I think, and guys kind of letting loose. Um, I, I love the the handshakes and the, the air high fives from second base and things like that. We haven't had a whole lot of those uh, this past week. So I, I do think so. Uh, hopefully that continues tomorrow. We're going to see some good pitching uh, this next series, but uh, it's going to be a good one. With the way Clayton and, and Sonny were dueling today, did you ever think this game would end with a position player pitching? I didn't. I, I, I didn't. Um, obviously, you never want to be in that situation on the minus side you know, from a ball club standpoint, but um, I'm happy it wasn't our guy. Thanks, Dave.